What's up, guys? We're Patty Trolls, a.k.a. Young Johnny Bravo, a.k.a. Young Captain America, bringing you week two of the BBR. Since City Scissors going against the Detroit Steel Wings. Look at his team. He has the Diggers Beedo, the Salazudo, the Jolteon War Turtle, which, like I said, War Turtle might come for the Darmanitans, switch. And then we have uh, Destin Wire as well. So this kind of tells me I can see a Volt Switch turn on Jolteon. I can see a leading Scizor. I could see uh, all that. So to me, I, kind of, I think I'm just going to lead with Steel Yo Girl. I think that's a good lead. Let's go with the bands. If it is uh, like Diggersby lead, like that's kind of tough. I can always go into I could always go into Slowbro to live that, or even Persian. If you guys are excited, show your support. Smash the like button. Support is greatly appreciated. If you guys are new, subscribe as well, because I'd really appreciate it. So let's see what Homeboy leads off with. Because like I said, I've never battled Chase. I mean, I've seen Chase battle, but watching someone and actually battling someone are like two totally different things. So he goes in the... Goes straight into Diggers B. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if he's banded or not. If he's banded, he definitely kills. I know that. Yeah, if he's if he if homeboy's banned, he for sure kills. Yeah, okay. So I need to go into So if he's banned, he's a 61 to 73%. Um which I am going to switch just because I do not feel confident with Steelix staying up front. Like I said, I knew the Diggers were lead could have been a thing. Uh, he could just elect to throw up Stealth Rocks right now. He could he could elect to do that. Uh, oh, he gets up the spikes. Okay. So he's going to spike us. All right. Um, so looking at his squad, who would he go into? Because obviously he's not going to stay in. And obviously I'm not, I don't care if he's banned because I can switch out on damage. So I see War Turtle coming in. Which is cool. Uh, I'm cool with the Scald still, to be completely honest. Because if I get the burn on War Turtle, I'm totally fine with... Tough. He just elected to stay in. Which he does live. No burn on that either. Okay, so now he stayed in on that. And that's tough. I can go into the Cafagrigus at this point. Because I'm going to get my Regenerator back from Slowbro. And then if I go into Kafagas, who can live something, if he wants to go for the EQ, that's fine. But then he can't really touch me with a quick attack. Or if he wants to knock me off, he loses his huge power, which makes him not as dangerous. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make him that much of a threat to me. Yeah, I think I'm just going to elect the Willow because, well, Salazzo could come in for sure. Do I just body press on the switch? Oh, okay, so... I crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but like... I mean, yeah, knockoff's a thing. Obviously, Kafagus is pretty weak now, which is kind of unfortunate. He got two layers of spikes, which is not 25% every switch in, but it does whittle me down a little bit. Um, so I think from here, he probably just goes into Dust Noir to probably scare me out or to priority on me. He could go into Scizor and set up or just kill me off real quick. Uh, I think Dust Noir is his play, though. Let's see why it wouldn't. Diggersby being gone is good, but I don't know. I have other checks. The fact that now I have a little person just kind of... All right, yeah, so here comes Salazzle. That's kind of what I figured. All right, so... I think I'm just going to go for the... Ooh, sets a thing. What I'm worried about is... How do I handle dust and wire? Oh, no, I wasn't out speeding. Yeah, I'm just going to hex. 
He might go for the toxic or something. And then he goes for the flamethrower. Okay, that's what I figured. I don't live that. It's probably... I'm assuming he's going to be Specs. Specs does a lot of damage to my, to my team. If he Specs into... If he Specs into... Uh, if he Specs into Flamethrower, that's good. Okay, but here's the thing. How much does to Salazzle, depending how the Salazzle is spread? And then we go into Darm. Rock Slide kills. Flare Blitz does not kill. But what if we go into War Turtle? How much does War Turtle do for Eviolite at level 50? Oh, Flare Blitz still does 54%. Okay, so it's like I just Rock Slide to kill or... Yeah, I'm just going to Rock Slide. There's no way he stays in. Oh, and he protects. Okay, so he's scouting. He's scouting to see. So I go for the protect. Or he goes for the protect. So I Rock Slide. All right. Uh, I think now that he knows I'm going to go for Rock Slide, his switching is still... War Turtle? Question mark? Because Scizor, that's neutral. He's not going to want that. War Turtle definitely comes in. Ryder. Yeah, okay. So, depending if he's like max HP, max defense. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, he is. Oh, this was calcing for no HP. Oh, shit. Hold on. Yeah. Max HP, max defense. Let's just say bold. Yeah, Rock Slide does 21 to 25. You got a crit. Yeah, it looks about right. Okay. That looks about right. So from here, uh, I don't really have to worry about um, War Turtle, even if he wants a Shell Smash or a Rapid Spin on me, just because I can go into Heath Keef. On the uh, possible water type move with the dry skin. He could try to outread that. I could have gone to Slowbro too. Slowbro is pretty free. Flip turn. I, I'm so confused. Chase, I'm sorry that I'm not as intellectual as you when it comes to battling. And I don't have your Rick and Morty fucking brain IQ plays. It's because of the glasses, for sure. Um, I just have a simple question. Um, what the fuck is flip turn? Flip turn. What is that? Or I guess, don't fucking tell me. What is flip turn? And what does it do? User switch. Oh, okay. So it's just, okay, okay, okay. So I, I, I T-bolt for free, is what I'm hearing. No, I hyper voice for free. Is what I'm hearing. Goes in a crash, which is boom. I knew it was it was either I get the immunity on the Jolteon or I get the immunity on the Dust Noir. Crit again. Can we relax? Holy shit, game. Relax. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get dicked at the end of this game now. See, I don't know if he knows if I'm scarfed or not. If he's scarfed good on him, oh, he withdraws. Okay, going to Dustin Wire. Big Papa. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. That's what I figured. Good on him. Good play. He finds out I'm scarfed. Okay, good on him. Okay. So now that's a thing. I don't have Kefragius anymore, which kind of sucks. Um, but I'm assuming Homeboy's going to go for the EQ. Uh, so from that, I'm just going to go into Palm Siberia. Uh, just because of the fur coat, I should be able to eat decently well. Not getting up rocks kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Goes into Rider. That's cool. So 
So I'm just gonna hit him with the fake out. Yes, sir. Gonna hit him with the knockoff. Because then with his bulkiness gone, I don't have to worry about uh, him taking any more stuff from um, Darm. Or a sphere. That's fine. It should do decent damage, but yeah. I'm a parting shot on him. Um, do I go into Darm? Does Darm just eat that? Well, he's getting... Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to slow, bro. Because I don't think, I don't see him doing anything to me. Like, Aura Sphere should do nothing. He flip turns, okay. Okay. What a water U-turn. That's crazy. But it only works out, obviously, if it, you know, you damage it. MK85. Okay, so now, right. Now that the Tanga Berry is gone, he's definitely going to SD. But here's the thing. Big time players make big time fucking plays. I flamethrow in front of him anyways. SD. Oh, he used Hearns. I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. Okay. Crazy. I was going to see if he was bold or not. I was seeing if Homeboy had the smoke or not. See if he was about that action. Big Papa. All right, cool. That's a clean flamethrow on him. I'm fine with that. Not bad. Okay, so now... Gonna go into the Steelix. Let me get my rocks up just so I can start getting some shit damage on him because that's my biggest issue right now is getting that little residual spikes damage on me. So if I get these rocks up, that'll definitely put Salazzle on a timer if it's heavy duty boost or not. Kind of puts everyone else on a timer. And he keeps switching in and out, which is fine. He goes back into Rider. How much does a War Turtle flip turn do then? What's it? It's what a sixty base powder, so I can I can base that off of not Scald, but you know a little bit weaker than Scald, so less than half and EQ kills for sure. Yeah, all right. We EQ. Oh, he goes for the Aura Sphere. Okay. Let's get him out. All right, so Ryder goes down, which is good. Steelix picks up a kill there. Life orb damage. Because I don't think Iron Head would have killed. Oh, actually, no, he via light, would it? With no Violate, let's just say that. Nah, it wouldn't have killed. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have killed. Okay, so from here... Him not bringing snow kind of fucked my Heliolisk up a little bit. That double immunity is nice on him. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give him that, for sure. Fishy! <laughs> Goes into Decay. Salazzle, that makes sense. He's probably going to force me to leave, which he does, obviously. Um, I think I let... I'm going to let Palm Siberia die. I'm going to Heath Keefe. I have dry skin. Why would I do that? That 
That's a that was a misplay on my end. 100%. Flamethrower, yeah, that was stupid on my end. I don't know why I did that. Like, Dry Skin claps me. Alright, so now... I'm a Volt Switch. I don't think the Jolteon comes in. If it does, that's fine. Goes for the Protect. Okay, so now he's going to switch into Jolteon. Okay, yeah. Okay, on the Jolteon switch, I'm going to go immediately into... Studio Girl. I need to get these rocks up. So he's going to go back. Does he also double into Jolteon? Oh, he just goes straight. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I could see that. He It was free for him to Toxic, knowing that I had to switch. That was a good play on him. I'm going to get them rocks up. Let's hope he just nasty plots or something on me. No, he just kills me off. Okay. I mean, I would too. Like, duh. But you can hope, you know. I definitely feel, uh, yeah, I think me over prepping for the Aurora Veil kind of fucked me on this a little bit. It's not like a big deal or whatever because I still have Darmanitan right here who literally just flare blitz for free. Now that War Turtle's actually gone, who does he go into? Yeah, who does. Yeah, I just rock slide for free. Like, I know Dust and Wire comes in. So let's see how much uh, that does. A, we'll just say, like, a defensive Dust and Wire. Like, Rock Slide's a 40% chance. I'm, I still Rock Slide anyways. He protects. That's fine. Um... Yeah, I still just rock slide anyways. I mean, Decay gets clapped if he doesn't. Uh, how much does this do to Scizor? Because I don't even know if the Scizor is bulky or not. Because U-Turn did how much to me? It did like only half, I think, to Slowbro. Okay, so how much is this going to do to him? Oh, that's not a Tuco. But he's bulky. Okay. I'm going to switch out on the Persian because if it goes down, it goes down. If he SDs, then good on him. Now he goes to the knockoff. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure Bullet Punch kills. Pretty sure Bullet Punch kills, but A. Hey. Oh, no Bullet Punch. Crazy. Doesn't kill. Oh, he roost. Does he lose that, though? Oh, he does not lose this one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. He does not lose the one-on-one. -on -one. He does Unless it's rolls. Unless rolls are a thing, then for sure. He might bullet punch me now, knowing that that's an issue. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. Watch me live. Oh, uh, if I would have lived, that would have been a... Oh, it's a crit? How much does that actually do? Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't matter anyways. Yeah, he still killed me. All right, so yeah, we're going to Darm now. Uh, well, because I know he has Shadow Sneak on the... So Bullet Punch right now is going to do some good damage to me. And then Flare Blitz Recoil is going to suck. He 
He withdraws, okay. Who's he going to? Dustin Wire? Big Papa? Yeah, Big Papa doesn't eat this. Big Papa for sure dies. He also knows I'm Scarf, but he should have figured I was Scarf anyways. Lives. Does Shadow Sneak kill? He shared our pain. What the bother? Pain. All right. Um, so let's T bolt. Let's T bolt on the man. What the pain? Does he just let Big Papa go down? Oh, he. I should have did it. Should have done it. I should have hyper voiced. Should have fuck. I I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That was. I should have hyper voiced. Should have hyper voiced. I knew it. <laughs> I think I just elect to stay in again. I like to stay in because if I switch into Dharma or anyone, I just die. Charge beam. This man booing, bro. Plus one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, now we go into Dharm, son. I don't think this is a winnable game, to be completely honest with you. Uh... Do I just... Well, like I said, if he's timid, I lose. Because I calc wrong. Which is on my end, of course. Oh, no, I have to flare blitz. Great. Watch him out speed. Watch him out speed. Watch him out speed. Goes into MKD5, just lets him go down. Crazy. I'll probably die to recoil then at that point. Maybe not. He's gonna have Shadow Sneak on the. <sighs> I'll die. Yeah, I did die. He's gonna have Shadow Sneak on the, the thing, anyways. Yeah, then now he just goes straight into Jolteon and just fucking Nene's on me. Yeah, that play where I, sh I should have just hyper-voiced on the Dustmar switch, because I knew he was going to stay in anyways. I should have just... That was like my gut feeling. It was like, okay, I'm a hyper voice because obviously he goes into Jolteon to absorb the thing. But I was like, well, what if he stays in? And then I should have just done it because I already decided getting rid of Chief Keep. That was a bad play on my end. I can't even hold it to him. Yeah, the T-Bolt's there. Should pick me up. And... Yeah! Unfortunate, like I said, I did misplay a little bit. Um, and like I said, I did. I think I overprepped a little too much for the Aurora Veal. Uh, and I should have prioritized getting bands up earlier. I was just worried about Diggersby staying in so much because Diggersby was such a problem. So I did misplay. I did misplay in some turns. It's fine. Like, it happens. Like, Chase has a good team anyways. So, like, and Chase is a good battler. So, um, but good game, Chase, like always. Uh, that was sick. Um, if you guys did enjoy, if you guys want to talk about, like, also, so people know, so, because I've had a couple of people, like, give me insight and inputs on certain turns, and then, like, apologize, like, sorry if this comes off as a dickish way. I'm just going to let you guys know right now. Um, yeah, if you guys have any insight or, like, advice, as long as it's, like, actually, like, legitimate constructive criticism and stuff like that, then go ahead and post it, because, like, who the fuck am I to tell you that I don't want to learn more? Like, obviously, I want to get better. 
So if you guys did enjoy this video, show your support, smash like button, support really appreciate it. Definitely check all links in the description down below. Twitter Twitch merchandise if you're into that. Chase's channel will be found down there, of course, like always. You should already know who Chase is. He's my homie. Put me on the map. You guys are the best. I'm gonna get the fuck out of you guys on Patrols. Mount Ayoga. Oh,